Welcome to my YouTube channel, a binary of seven. Today I am going to solve the fourth assignment of advanced concrete technology. First question: Match the following minerals with the aggregate types. So in the list, uh, left side list, he has given minerals and the examples of the minerals. So the first one is feldspar is the mineral. From this mineral, we will get an aggregate type is albite so that is a it is 3 and for sulfate you will get gypsum clear b it is 1 coming to clay minerals so smithite you will get uh, smithite from clay mineral it is c4 and from silica you will get chalcodony clear so it is d1 3, 1, 4, 2. 3, 1, 4, 2. So, option C for question number 1. Okay. So, this is a complete theory. I am not teaching much. I am just giving you answers. Next. The type of rock which has large crystals with well defined cleavage is obviously it is a metamorphic rocks. So, metamorphic rocks are subjected to large heat and pressure then recrystallization often occurs results to by this recrystallization it will result large crystals with a well-defined cleavage okay so the option C for question number 2 coming to question number 3 so it is a very direct question as per Indian standard code the maximum limit to use recycled aggregate as a replacement percentage of plain cement concrete so generally we can replace the normal aggregates with recycled aggregates that is already used aggregates by only 25 percentage okay so the answer is 25 percentage is for question number three and coming to the type of heavy weight aggregates used for radiation shelling is so it is ferromagnetism silica can be used for radiation shielding okay so here it is in this ferromagnetism silica so iron and manganese so these two are the main uh, minerals present in the ferromagnetism silica silicate so by using this ferromagnetism silicate it will be uh, used in radiation shielding okay option b for question number four next question the type of aggregate suggested for use in regions susceptible to acid attack so when the regions are susceptible to acid attack which type of aggregates we will prefer so the type of aggregate suggested to use in acid attack areas are generally carbonate minerals so these carbonate minerals are calcite and dolomite out of these two so there is a calcite in option so option a for question number five now the type of aggregate suggested for using regions susceptible shielding is so it is question number uh, already explained this question so option a for question number five coming to question number six the metamorphic rock that is susceptible to asr asr means alkali silicon reaction okay so this all by using this alkali silica this which type of metamorphic rock okay generally you can see here it is 
both phyllite and argillite in this both in both phyllite and argillite there is strained quartz because of presence of strained quartz so these are susceptible to as or alkali silica reaction okay so by what reason these argillite and phyllite are susceptible to as or by presence of strained quartz option d for question number 6 Coming to question number seven, it is not recommended to use lingosulfonates at high dosages. Now, lingosulfonates, normal dosage will range from three to five percent. If we use the percentage of lingosulfonates beyond this five percentage, what it will happen? So, what will happen is the first point is it will result. excessive air entrainment okay so that is option b and it also results excessive retardation of the hydration reaction clear so option both so these are options are given like a square boxes in square boxes we can select more than one option this is something like multiple answer question okay if you will select only one correct answer out of two you will get half marks if you will select two out of two you will get full marks okay if you will select any wrong answer you will not get anything okay so this is uh, both option a and b for question number 7 and so with regard to different water reducing compounds obviously water reducing compounds are nothing but it is plasticizers so identify the incorrect statement so this one pce and snf molecules can be blended together without any intercompatibility issues so this is wrong one and lower molecule the next one is the dispersion of cement this is also wrong one so option a and d are incorrect statements clear so it is a completely theory just go through the uh, lecture and arrange the material okay so and the next question is among the following which of the factors affect the compatibility of a given cement and super plasticizers that is when there should be a proper compatibility between cement and super plasticizer cement and super plasticizer it will depend on c3a content and c3a by calcium sulfate cut ratio alkalis in cement so overall this and there is a fineness of cement so all these are correct so option last option for question number 9 last question for the assignment while adding certain super plasticizers during concrete mixing the delayed addition is required due to preferential adsorption of c3a cement grains okay so now the answer is snf based super plasticizers are required that is snf based super plasticizers these require delayed addition okay clear so option a for question number 10 and i want to thank you each and every one generally especially coming to advanced concrete technology so many people have enrolled and i got highest views for this subject okay so i'll provide the best solutions for the all the subjects and thank you all the students thank you very much